float away But that ain't me Hey guys, welcome to my channel Today I did this really out of my comfort zone look but I really love it you guys so I wanted to do a makeup look that I would wear if I was gonna go to a festival and I really love how this turned out I did do something different to my hair as you can see which I never do you guys I never experiment with my hair like I just I just leave it down I actually didn't do this somebody else did so if you want a tutorial I'm so sorry I can't help you I'm just not very good with hair so I just let somebody else do it I just bought fake pink extensions and she just braided it all throughout my hair so that's how it is for my hair it's only just on this side I was actually inspired by Cara Delevingne I think that's how you say her name and she was wearing this kind of braid where it wraps around her ear like this and I put some colored bands to the ends as well to make it more interesting and then I have this necklace from forever 21 I went for the rose gold kind of look on my upper body and silver jewelry on my hands for this look i wanted to go with hoops which i think for the first time ever in my channel i'm wearing hoops i think i don't remember wearing hoops in any of my other videos this is my coachella vibe if i were to go to coachella or any other festival for that matter this is what i would wear i'm not a big fan of crowds but if i were to go to a festival this is what i would wear for my outfit basically this is just a forever 21 crop top just tie on the front it's a little you know booby but i think it's fine for festivals i think it's cute and it's just three quarter sleeves and it's kind of like billowy i think that's how you say it like billowy tops where it's not really fitted to your arm it's more like flowy and I think if you're in a festival you want to be free like you don't want any constriction because you want to move around dance you know enjoy the concert so that's why I chose this top so for this look I went with a really coppery lid you guys coppery shade and then a very thin glitter liner a silver glitter liner my rings Guys, this is from a jewelry show that my husband attended, so I can't really tell you much. And this one I just bought from a, a random boutique locally, so I can't tell you anything about it. And this isn't just my wedding ring, so I'm sorry, but there's so many rings at Forever 21, you guys. I went out and bought this and this, and it was super affordable. I wanted to keep everything neutral, so my eyes are the focus of this look, and of course... The neon pink braids before we move on to the makeup tutorial i already did my foundation powder and eyebrows before the tutorial just to save some time if you want to see how i got this makeup look then just keep on watching first thing that i'm going to do you guys is i'm going to take mac blank type which is a really nice creamy white shade i'm just going to put that all over the lid and as well as up here on my brow bone For the first transition shade, you guys, I'm going to use this peach color from Anastasia and it's called Soft Peach. Apply it all throughout my crease. Next transition shade, you guys, I'm going to use Chickadee from Makeup Geek. Next up is the Jaclyn Hill palette, you guys. From this palette, I'm going to take this really fun purple shade right here. I'm just going to use a smaller brush for the purple shade. Next, you guys, I'm going to take the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, Red Ochre, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. The purple on the crease is serves as a guideline for you to stop applying the red ochre shade. I'm going to take a pigment from MAC and it's called Copper Sparkle. It's super hard to get this on camera. So hopefully you can see how beautiful and sparkly that is. So the Copper Sparkle pigment didn't stick to the eyes as well as I wanted it to you guys so I took this glitter liner from Urban Decay called Midnight Cowboy and applied it all over my eyelids before the Copper Sparkle pigment. So I'm just going to do that to the other lid you guys and I'm going to be right back. 
Here I'm just using a fluffy brush to blend out the eyeshadows. Now I'm gonna apply eyeliner on the upper waterline and on my lower waterline halfway across and I'm gonna be right back. I'm also going to use a liquid eyeliner to line my upper waterline. I'm gonna do this off camera. And then I drew on a thin line of glitter liner on top of the black liquid eyeliner. I used the red ochre eyeshadow along with the purple to set the liner on the lower waterline. And then I took the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Shimmer Shimmer to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. To finish off the eye look you guys, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and then apply my favorite mascara. I'm just gonna do this off camera because you've seen me do this a million times and I'm gonna be right back to finish off the face and the lips. To bronze up our face, I'm gonna be using Benefit Hula. It's just from my Benefit Blush Bar Palette. Use this shade right here called Hula. So I'm just gonna take the Hula shade with an angled fluffy brush and contour under my cheekbones. And then I'm just gonna blend out bronzer with a duo fiber brush. So I just want a light pink flush on my cheek. I'm just gonna use this really light pink shade because I want something super neutral. And that's this right here called Dandelion. To highlight my cheekbones, I used MAC Whisper of Guilt. For my lips, you guys, I'm going to take Max Subculture, which is just a nude lip pencil, and I'm going to line my lips and fill them in as well. Over this lip liner, I'm going to use Please Me. For the final step, you guys, I'm going to take Max Cherish lipstick. Thank you so much for watching my video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my festival vibe. You know, thumbs up if you did like this festival vibe. Don't forget to leave comments down below, you guys. Like, what videos would you like to see next? Or as well as, like, what essentials would you bring during a festival? I would like to know. Like, I'm so curious. And what kind of looks do you go for if you're gonna go to a festival? Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in my next video.